Yo, what's up everybody? It is your man Robo back for another video and in this video we're going to be talking about Shinobi Life 2. So Shinobi Life 2 is getting a pretty big update in a few hours and this update is going to have quite a few things. Like it's going to have different chakra modes for tailed beasts, really different things added to the game and I want to talk about it in this video with you guys and let you guys know what's going on and get your opinion on the update. So this update is basically going to have tails 1 through 9 chakra modes, which is pretty cool. They were originally just going to make it so like the one... I think seven and nine were gonna come out today and then they were gonna like space it out for updates. But now they're adding all of them today. Then they're adding a redesign of tail beast attributes. So they're also making it so auto tracking breaks, like doesn't break as much as it did before. Auto tracking is a really nice feature to add it to the game for certain moves. And I guess they're fixing it with this update. And they're also adding Darui and Deidara to the arena mode, which is pretty cool. Darui and Deidara are also getting companions to the game, which I'm really looking forward to because I feel like a Darui NPC or a Deidara companion NPC would be really nice to have. And then Arena had some brokenness to it, so they fixed it. Reaper Death Seal is coming to the game. Snake Sage, Slug Sage also, I believe, are coming to the game, if not just the spawn time. But I'm looking forward to them coming to the game. We also have Byakugan Stage 2 and 3 stat buff. And Vanishing Rasengan is coming to the game, which is pretty cool. And we also have Dynamic Entry getting a damage and speed buff. And a Leaf Rising Wind damage and speed buff as well, which I am very much looking forward to because I just got the two moves. All right, let's kick it off with talking about the chakra modes. These chakra modes look pretty cool, and I'm gonna show you some of them in the video. This, I believe, is the Nine Tails chakra mode, of course, and it has a little Biju stuff with it, which is pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to this form. I don't have the Nine Tails yet, which is kind of funny for me to say that I'm looking forward to, but I don't have it. My friends have it, and they say it's pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing them with it. So that's gonna be really cool to be added to the game. Now, we also have different forms, like the Two Tails and such, coming to the game, too. I'm really looking forward to what the Two Tails is going to look like because the Two Tails, if you don't know, is one of the best looking tailed beasts in the game. What it looks like right now in game is really cool and with the chakra mode right here, I think it looks even better. Now some people did complain about seeing the tails with the chakra mode. I really don't care about seeing the tails. I know some people want it to be like the series where the tails don't appear most of the time. But honestly, I don't think it really matters. I think the tails kind of complement it too. I like the way that the tails look with the forms. But that's just me. If you guys don't like it, that's your opinion. You cannot like it, but I like it with the tails, but that's just for me. Now, the next thing is the Shukaku form or the one tails form. It was originally looking like this, but apparently they changed it to look a little bit different. Now, I know a lot of people liked it when it looked like this. This actually looks pretty cool, although it just looks like it just looks a little bit weird, in my opinion, I guess because there's no like you can barely see any lines in it other than like the tan lines. But this is what it changed to on their Twitter. And personally, I do like this a little bit more. Although it's not neon, I think it looks a little bit cooler, to be honest, because I think it matches the whole sand theme of Shukaku. It matches the whole sand theme of the One Tails. So I think this looks really cool, but that's just for me. If you guys don't like that, I think it looks cool, though. Now, the next form is actually the best looking form, in my opinion. And this this one is it's as cool as the Two Tails. The Two Tails is probably the second best, actually, compared to this one, because this one's the Seven Tails, and they went off on the Seven Tails. The Seven Tails has the little guards on the shoulders and everything, and it looks dope. They even added little details, like little cracks to it and everything. And in the next image, you'll see even a better angle. But you can also see in the corner of each of the images, like some stuff in the background. I'm not too sure what the stuff are. I feel like the stuff in the background of this one is the Three Tails somewhere there. But in the next image, you'll see two forms in the background, one of them being the Nine Tails form and one of them being a little purple form. And I think the purple one might be one of the... Any tailed beast lower than 8, I don't think 8's going to be purple, but I think one of those lower than 8's going to be purple. But it looks pretty cool to be honest. Now, when it comes to this form, this form is the best looking in my opinion because it just looks nice. And the two tails looks nice, don't get me wrong. Also, you can see the little purple form at the background. The two tails looks nice, but this one looks, it just looks nice. The way that the shoulder guards look, I like the way that the colors complement each other as well. The armor looks nice too. The cracks look nice. The cloak looks amazing, and with the tails behind it, I think it'll look really cool too. Now with this one actually, I think it's going to have wings behind it, and I think it's actually going to be able to fly. I'm not too sure if the Seven Tails is already able to fly, but I think it is. But with this one, they did make wings for it as well. They're like neon green, so I think that this one's going to be able to have wings at the back instead of like the whole typical tails and everything like that, which I am totally okay with. I think it looks really, really cool, and I'm very much looking forward to what this is going to look like in-game. I'm looking forward to any of the Tail Beast forms, to be honest. They all look really dope. Now, the next form is the Three Tails form. I actually want to talk about this one for a little bit because the Three Tails, I hope it gets justice like it's getting in this image because they basically remodeled the whole Beast form right here to have a little bit more details, which I do like. However, 
I'm hoping that the chakra mode does have some sort of element of the tailed beast into it. I hope it's not just colors and neon effects. I hope the three tails does get a little bit justice because the seven tails got like the shoulder guards. I hope the three tails gets like a mouth guard or some sort of thing that symbolizes the three tails like it typically does in the series with the shell or everything like that. I'm really hoping the three tails gets justice because I think it looks dope in this image, but I think it's missing. I hope it's not missing anything. I mean, in the chakra mode that they're adding in a few hours to the game. However, I think they're going to do it justice. I think it'll look nice, but I really hope it does get some details like the seven tails and the two tails had. Otherwise, I mean, the one tails had some details too, but otherwise this is another angle of the three tails form remodeled a little bit. And I think it looks really cool. I think all of them look really dope. I think they're doing a lot of justice to the forms and I'm hoping they keep doing updates like this. These massive updates are great. Some people are complaining about they're updating too fast and I, I kind of agree their updates are a little bit fast, but when you're making a game as big as this, you have to update at a consistent basis to keep the player base. If you're a developer, you know exactly what's going on. People are demanding more and more updates and the fact that they're able to keep up the updates just shows how much they've grown as developers. So you gotta let them work at their own flow and speed and the fact that it's this fast compared to being as slow as me with my updates, I think it's better to be as fast as this than to be slow like me. But anyways, when it comes to the Tailed Beasts, I think they all look dope. Let's move on to other images of the things coming to the game in future or this updates. Now the next thing coming is the Slug Sage spawn time and everything. Now if you didn't play in NRPG Beyond, that's fine. And their previous games, they probably had it too. However, this was broken in NRPG Beyond. You could literally pop it, stay in it, and heal, just run around and not get hit by people. So this is definitely going to be one of the most overpowered healings in the game. I'm definitely going to try to get this and showcase it for you guys because I know how difficult it's going to be to get. They're probably going to make it super rare. Snake Sage is probably going to be rare as well. But I'm really looking forward to this one specifically because the healing in this game is important, bro. It gets important at some stage during the game. So I'm really looking forward to the healing that they're adding to the game. Now, other than this, they are adding another thing, which is basically the Reaper Death Seal. The Reaper Death Seal, honestly, it's looking pretty cool. The way that they made it looks dope as well. So this is what the Reaper Death Seal currently looks like. As you can see, this is just an image, but there will be a video playing in a second. This looks pretty cool. The effects they made for it are very, very nice. I love the way that it looks. It looks transparent. It looks like a ghost. It doesn't look like an actual just like companion NPC. And I think it's going to behave like a JoJo stand, basically. You can kind of see a move that extends like, I think that's its tongue or like maybe some sort of thing to grab an enemy, which is pretty cool. But if you can see right here, there's some animations for it. Just a little stab effect. I'm assuming that's like the, the, the kill effect and everything, but it's looking pretty cool. I'm looking forward to this, especially in the back. You can also see the back of it. This looks pretty cool too, it's transparent. You can see your character. If you want to know how they did this, this is the glass effect on Roblox because you can see a little bit of like a, a deterrence of the character. I forgot what it's called reflectance or refracting or whatever it's called on the character that's glass right there if you want to know how to do it on roblox just replicate it with a material called uh, glass really easy but otherwise that is pretty much it for the video everybody if you did enjoy this video do me a favor leave a like on the video also subscribe if you're brand new to the channel till then it's Man roball i'm signing out now i'll see you all in the next video take care everybody